Me family on Akusho. Today it's another beautiful day here at the outskirts of Freetown, Waterloo. I have traveled all the way to Waterloo to tell the story of a young Sierra Leonean who has invented a fuel free generator that uses no water, CO2 free, and uses no sun power just to save our planet. My name is Mamadou Nuladaba, the inventor of the fuel free generator that uses no fuel, water, sun, and it's carbon free. The planet's average surface temperature has risen about 1.62 degrees Fahrenheit which is about 0.9 degrees Celsius since the late 19th centuries. A change driven largely by increased carbon dioxide and human-made emission into the atmosphere. If we look into the present generating system of electricity in the world, it has led to very health hazard and air pollution. And the white generators have affected our economic and our health also. The world has been driven to a system of like air pollution and a lot of carbon that from the things that made by man. So therefore, my invention and my innovation, which is the carbon free generator, the fuel free, it will ease, it will ease in that area. It produces no carbon and it has no nerves. Mamadou's initial dream was to become a pilot. At that time, we have no aviation school and no airplane in Sierra Leone. So I told some of my friends that I want to be a pilot in the future. They laughed at me and said, wow, that's impossible, man. You cannot be a pilot in the future because like there's no school or flight in the country. I said, seriously, so like, um, the, first of all, I removed the wall impossible for me. So I get into my room and start working. So later on, and I start building my own plane with cats. So my journey as an invent innovator started from that angle. In 2012, he was watching a movie titled Marlin when their generator eventually went off at the interesting scene of the movie due to the lack of fuel. So like I was so furious and like I was mad. So I get into my room and I start asking myself question, is that possible for me to invent something like this? So like I, start, I throw the question out again to my friends. They told him a black man cannot do it, let alone a black man from Sierra Leone. So like most of them said, no, that's impossible. Even if it's possible, the white man should be the one to do it. Mamadou did not let those words pull him down. In 2015, during the Ebola epidemic, he invented his first fuel-free generator prototype. Like, man, <laughs> do you know till now my head is like blowing? Wow. Like, how, how does this really work? Is it really possible? I mean, no sound, and you think it provides 220 volts, right? Yes. No, yes, like, yes. tell us. My yes. viewers are, we want, we want to know. Guys, right, you want to know. How does it really work? Yeah, that's the question behind this fuel free generator. But, like, I've been hiding this for a quite long time. So, let me just give a tip about it, how it works. Mm. Anyway, there's a system inside this generator. It has the DC alternator and the AC alternator, and also a DC motor and a battery. The motor spin the AC alternator and the DC alternator, while the DC refer back the energy that lost from the battery. This is how it works. I can't go in depth, but this is the component that makes the fuel free work well. So, meaning you don't need to charge this? Yeah, of course, you don't need to charge it either. So, you just use it? Yeah, of course. It depends on subscription. Oh my god, guys, you see it is working. No sound. It is sound free, guys. Look. <laughs> Amazing. Light. This is amazing. I've never seen this before. Bro, congratulations. <laughs> it's done well. It's, it's 500 watts. Okay. Um, like, if you know what is 500, it's huge uh, amount of electricity. It's a full package. Like, it's run in 18 inches plasma or any devices below 500. Okay. Yeah. A computer, a bedroom freezer, and uh, so, so you can use all your basic electronics yeah right? all those little appliances low appliance devices so if you're given an opportunity to create something bigger than this you can of course yes i can the starting is more difficult but like the ending is smooth just to expand it just to expand it this is my message and i'm looking for sponsorship and partners like i want to further my education to have more the required training to do more good things like this like if you look into the world, the global warming is increasing day by day, by product or by machines that men made. So like seriously, my colleague innovators, you don't have to be scared of doing your job. So thank you all, come out and support ourselves. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. We are telling the stories of amazing people and beautiful places around the world. 
And this video is brought to you with partnership with Salon Messenger, a global multimedia storytelling platform based in Sierra Leone. And it's me, Isedin K.